You know, if there's anyone who's still trying to clutch at any shred of an idea that there's something of value in Gamergate, they need to shut the fuck up right fucking now. Now, if you've been fortunate enough to not even know what this fucking drivel is, good on you. Potted history? It started with some sad fucking loser pouring out hate on an ex-girlfriend, telling a shitload of lies, and it got worse from there. It just been, yeah, bitches fuck things up, don't they? And then the hate on any woman who's speaking out or doing anything different in any aspect of gaming. That's what Gamergate is. Gamergate is a bunch of sad fuck-ups behaving in a sad, fucked-up way. And after they suddenly realised, oh, wait a minute, this is a little wank circle echo chamber that not many people agree with, they start clutching, oh, no, actually, this is about integrity in gaming journalism. Yes, yeah, what it is. It's about integrity and gaming journalism. So, of course, they went after the big publishing houses that pay the big gaming websites and magazines. I assume magazines are still a thing, aren't they? They're probably still a thing. I don't know. Things move so fast. Let's pretend they are. But anyone who's anyone knows these big sites, these big review sites, it's fucking payola. If they give a bad review to a major title from a major uh, release, they'll just get cut dead from everything else. So you get these fluff reviews for fucking everything. But no, 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 no. That's not what they go after. They're going after independent game makers and reviews. They're going after women who've spoken up and said, you know what? There's some fucked up attitudes in the game. And they, they've they exhibited, no, there's no fucked up, you cunt whore! I'm going to give out your fucking home address and I'm going to come around and rape you and your family. That has actually specifically happened multiple times. Oh, and then they've come up with this, oh, we're a leaderless organisation, you know, like the uh, Occupy movements. Shut the fuck up! You snivelling fucking cowards! Gamergate is misogyny and lies! That's what it fucking is! If you have any other agenda, get the fuck out of Gamergate! If you think a movement for integrity is important, I would agree with you! That's not Gamergate! Gamergate is lies, misogyny and fucking hate! I would have slightly more time for these people who if they just came out and said, yeah, I don't want these bitches fucking you up. Oh, making me think. Oh, making me have values. Fuck that. I hate that and I want to get rid of it. But the lying fucking shit weasel cowards won't even admit what they are. And it's ridiculous because it's so obvious what they are. Everyone knows you're lying, you pathetic fucking loser. There are two sorts of people still promoting Gamergate. The overwhelming majority are nasty, fucked up, right-wing, misogynist little shitheads. The others are people who've been sucked in by nasty, lying, misogynist shitheads. That's all there is. That's all there is to it. The fuckwits and their dudes. That's it. And they'll peddle out like, oh, here's a woman who says she doesn't agree. Therefore, all is well. That makes no fucking sense. Women aren't an amorphous blob. Men aren't an amorphous blob. I'm a white guy. Therefore, if I say something, all of the white guys think the same and negate. What the fuck? That makes no sense at all. Gamergators are a bunch of snivelling, whiny little fucking man babies. And as I've learned earlier this year, there's a big crossover between them and men's rights activists who are the most pathetic fucking whiner losers on the fucking internet. So I fully expect these shitheads to come out of the fucking woodwork. Ooh, you've got a mangina. Ooh, you're whooped. No, I'm a fucking human, okay? And you're a subhuman, worthless piece of fucking slime and you need to shut the fuck up.